Hi everyone. Okay, so my name is Karishma, and today we are going to do um, an English lesson, and it's it's a video clip, and I'm pretty sure you're all going to love it. So before we go on to the video clip, I would want you all to see something. So are you all ready? Shall we start? Yes. Okay, so I'll just stay. I want to take you all through something, and then we go right into the story. Okay, so how will you all get to our website? So you all can type live dot yulo dot com, and uh, we have a weekly schedule on it, so you all can see it. And besides the weekly schedule, we also ask you all to submit your activities, and that's very important. You all know why. because we select the top 10 submissions and then upload it on our site okay you can be one of those top 10 who knows okay so always submit your activity how to do it now now go log on to life.yulo.com and uh, you'll see the activities that were scheduled for this week click on the activity that you have attended and uh, there'll be a submit your activity button below it Can you see this? Yeah. Click on that and a dialog box will open which will read upload image. So from your gallery you can select one or multiple images and a preview box will open which will show the photo that you have selected or photos to go ahead and submit it. If it is in the correct photo, go one step back, check your photo correct, select the correct photo and then submit it okay now if you're going to upload it on social media platforms like instagram and facebook don't forget to tag us at @adrate yulo underscore app and also use the hashtags hashtag #yulo app hashtag #yulo learning yes okay now one very important thing when you are submitting the photos on our website that is live.yulo.com always submit it in landscape or horizontal form never in portrait or vertical form yes we do not accept portrait or vertical form please a landscape or a horizontal format of a photo would be highly appreciated and where will you submit it live.yulo.com everyone's clear yes give me a thumbs up okay so now guys uh, tell me are you excited to um watch today's movie yes you all are i am very excited okay so let me give you all a briefing on what it is about so it is about two animals okay and let's guess one animal is extremely clever do you know which is the clever animal yes which one is it fox right yes fox is a very clever animal so one of the animals is fox and the other animal is very timid and he is uh, one of our favorite cartoon characters and uh, loves cheese can you all guess who it is yes no that's correct it's a mouse so it's a story about a fox and a mouse so is everyone ready yes shall we start okay so i'm just going to take you all to a very beautiful story and we are going to really enjoy it okay so let's get started okay so um Are you excited? Give me a thumbs up if that's a yes. Yes. Okay. So I'm just going to show you all the story, and uh, we begin. Okay. Shall I start? Yes. Okay. Pay attention because we are going to have quiz time in it. So all of you, pay attention and let's look at the story nicely. Okay.
Okay, guys. So we are going to watch it once again, and I'm going to explain what has happened. Okay. So let's go. So, like I told you, it's a story about a fox and a mouse. Okay. Now, where is this entire story? It's in a hilly area where there's a lot of snow, so it can be any of the poles or any of the hilly areas where there's a lot of snow. And you know what happens is when there um, when there's snow, okay, there are very few animals. Why? Because all of them cannot bear that much cold. So even if they are there, they um, make their house beneath the snow because they need warmth. Okay, and it's very very chilly out there. So few insects. So what happens? All the animals which are there, it's very difficult for them to survive. Why? Because, like you know, fox is a carnivorous animal, so he's going to eat other animals and insects. So if they aren't there, what's going to happen? He's going to starve, right? So let's see what happens. So he's I like we can see he's alone in this place. There's no other animal, and um, the story is of a fox and a mouse. So obviously, there's going to be another animal called a mouse. Okay. So now, like I told you, there are very few animals, and can you see the fox seems to be a little hungry. So. He thought, like animals say inside. So what he thought, let me just jump right into the snow and check if I can find any animal to eat. But to his disappointment, he did not find. Can you see how disappointed he looks? So he could not find. But suddenly something happened. And what was it? Can you see his ears tweak? That means they have very sharp sense of hearing. So that means he heard something. And what was it? It was a little mouse. Okay. And the same thing happened with the mouse. He heard the other animal. Even if it is very light. Okay. Even if their steps are very light. Okay. And if they don't bang it. They still have a very strong sense of hearing. So they could hear each other. And since fox is a carnivorous animal, what is he going to do? Because he's hungry, he's going to run behind the mouse and eat it. And the mouse will obviously try to save himself from the fox who wants to die. None of us, right? So even the little mouses now want to die. And he ran and ran and then he started climbing the tree to save himself. Yes. And okay, he found it, but he was still... A little satisfied that okay I am safe up here okay and the fox won't be able to climb the tree okay so you we're going to take our first break and um, we are going to do the first quiz so what are we going to do uh, we are going to post the link for the quiz in the chat section and in the comment section on YouTube, that's right. So all you need to do is go there and click on the link. So come closer to your screens and just let's start the quiz. So I'll give you two minutes and then we'll be back to see was the fox able to have the little mouse or did the mouse escape? Yes? Okay, so come closer to your screens and let's start the quiz. Okay, everyone, did you like the start of the story? Did you find it interesting, intriguing? Like, I really want to know what's going to happen. Is the fox going to eat or is the rat going to escape? Something really interesting. Okay, so I can already see you all have started attempting. 
that's very good and all of you are getting most of the answers right that's a very good thing so that means you all are just really nice smart kids anyway okay so i just want to see who's going to come first in the scoreboard who's going to top the scoreboard in the first quiz at least let's see okay that's that's a very good thing very good guys i can see you all are doing pretty well okay is everyone done give me a thumbs up if you all are done yes okay so i can see most of you all have completed okay uh, i'll just give you all a few seconds more and then let's discuss the quiz yes okay is everyone done give me a thumbs up okay let's go and discuss the quiz so let's start the quiz yes okay let's start the game Okay so the first question is what was the fox doing burying its head in the snow so was he trying to hide from an elephant did we see an elephant no was he searching for prey yes was he searching for gold no so he was searching for prey prey means any other animal that he can eat so the answer is he was searching for prey Okay in which of the following places do you think the fox and the mouse live Pacific Ocean did we see an ocean no Sahara desert did we see any sand or desert no north pole did we see snow yes a lot of snow right so it's the north pole Good job guys Okay How did the mouse save itself from the fox by hiding behind a rock did he hide behind a rock no by diving into the ocean did we see an ocean no by climbing the branch of a tree that's what he did so that's the answer good job guys okay owls are nocturnal what does that mean active in active at day nectar feeding animals or active at night okay so you all must have heard that owls are wide awake during the night and they sleep during the day so that's what nocturnal means not extremely active at night so your answer is option c good job okay let's move on to the next question snow is dash and dash choose the right adjective warm and black is the snow black and warm no pristine and white okay old and green no so what do you mean by pristine it's definitely white what do you mean by pristine pristine means it's in its pure original form okay so your answer is pristine and white good job everybody very good and we are all done so what should we do next shall we continue the story i am excited to see what's going to happen next i am extremely excited yes okay so let's go back to the story and check what's going to happen okay ready everyone give me a thumbs up okay let's start
Okay, so what happened? Was he able to get the mouse? No, not as yet, right? Okay, and there are two more characters in the story now. Who are they? The two little owls? Okay, so let's go back and let's understand what exactly happened. Okay, so let's do that. Okay, so over here the fox was waiting down and he was just trying to see what is happening. And can you see the clever mouse? It's usually the fox who's clever, but over here the mouse is trying to play mind games. What did he do? He just imitated the owls. He was pretending to be an owl. What an imitation, right? So those two were sleeping peacefully and the rat pretended, okay, I'm an owl too. Okay, and the fox was like, do you think I'm that unaware of what you're doing? I can't differentiate between an owl and a mouse. Okay, and like, you know, the fox are very clever. What did he do? He decided, okay, let me teach you a lesson. And he started pulling the branch. And what happened? The owls woke up and the owls also eat the rat. So now the rat was in a fix. Okay, he had to save himself from the fox and from the owls. So he slipped a little to save himself and there came another owl. And he had to slip further down. And when he left the branch, when the fox left the branch, he went flying to the other side. Okay. And the owls were also ready to get him now. They were like, oh, we got a feast now. Let's go and get him. So the rat was in danger. Let's see what happens. So he slipped and that is a frozen lake. Okay, this is a frozen lake. So when the water freezes, it becomes extremely slippery. So the mouse was just kidding and there comes the fox. Okay, he really badly wanted to get the mouse and they banged into the snow. And what happened? Because of the weight of the snow and both the animals, the lake started cracking and both of them went right into the water. Yes? Okay. So I think we can take a break over here, a second break, and it's time for the second quiz. So we'll be posting the link in the chat section and um, in the comment section on YouTube. So all of you all come closer to your screens and let's start. Yes? Okay. So I'll give you all two minutes and then we are back. And then we'll see what happens. Do they drown? Are they saved? Is either one saved? Does the owl save the rat just to eat him up? Or the fox manages to escape and the rat dies. I don't know what's going to happen. So let's go ahead and see. Okay. So let's quickly complete this and watch the remaining story. Okay. So come closer to your screens and start. I'll give you two minutes. Yes. Yeah? Okay, so here I can see the scoreboard and again, I think you all have understood it really well. Good job, guys. Very good. So did you like the story till you? I'm pretty sure you must have liked it because it's a, isn't it an interesting story like how both of them are playing with each other mind games they're just trying to you know um the rat is trying to escape himself the fox is trying to eat him and now we have the two owls who want to eat the rat too now the rat is so the mouse is so small who will get it the fox or the owls we need to see whether even they are going to be saved. So, um, let me check. Is everyone done? 
Yes, give me a thumbs up, all those who are done, so that I know that you all are done. Yes, okay, so since most of you all are done, uh, and a few of you all are still remaining, I'll just give you all a minute to complete, and then we move on to the quiz. Let's discuss it together. Yes? Okay. Okay, so all those who are done, can you please tell me, did you find the quiz easy or difficult? Okay, was it easy? Easy? Good job, guys. Very good. So I'll just give you all a few seconds more and then we go right into the quiz. Okay, let's discuss the quiz. Yes. Shall we start? Yes, start the game, please. Okay, so your first question is, which of the two animals in the video prey on mice? Is it lion and owl, duck and pig, fox and owl? So we know beside the mouse, there's only, there are only two animals, that is, Fox and owls. So that's option three. Good job. We got to power up in the first. Okay. First go itself. Good job. Okay. Why did the fox and mouse lose control on frozen water body? Because the ice was slippery in nature or because they were wearing roller skates? Did we see them wearing roller skates? No, right? Frozen lakes are always slippery. Good job. Okay, let's continue. Who fell into the water? The fox and the mouse? Just the mouse? Owl and mouse? So what's the answer? Fox and mouse. Very good. Okay, the mouse tried to dash sleeping owls. The mouse tried to dash the sleeping owls. Sing the sleeping owls? No, he did not sing. He did not utter a word. Imitate the sleeping mouse or fly the sleeping owls? Why would he let them fly? Because there would be danger, right? So he tried to imitate the owls to fool the fox. Good job, everybody. Okay, which of the following mean meat-eating animals? What do they mean? Okay, omnivorous means both meat-eating and herbivorous. Herbivorous means plant-eating and carnivorous means only meat-eating. Good job. And we are all done. Okay, so let's get back to the story. I am excited to know what's going to happen. Are they going to drown, be saved? Who's going to die? Who's going to be saved? Is anyone going to eat the mouse? Yes, I don't know. Let's watch the story ahead. Okay.
Okay, so did you see what happened? Yes? Okay, let's go back and see what just happened. Okay? So, both of them were drowning and the fox started swimming but deep and it started drowning. So, the fox decided, never mind, even if I have to eat, I am a good person. I need to save the little mouse first and not be selfish. Okay? So, he brought him up and he just threw him outside to save him because all the pieces were coming back together. Okay? And what happened in the process? He got stuck. And because he got stuck, um, he started drowning. Okay? He did not know how to find his way back. And suddenly, the mouse realized, what? I'm safe? Where's Fox? And the owls came to eat him. But the mouse started moving the ice blocks rigorously just so that the fox can come out he get some place and he was thrown away by a piece and guess what whom did he meet whom did he encounter he encountered the two evil owls who were behind his life and wanted to eat him up okay so he was really scared now he has no one to protect him he's so tiny and these are two of them and who has this beautiful fur who's come to save him or to eat him? I don't know. Let's see. And he saw, oh my God, the fox is back. It's good that he's safe, but now I'm in danger. So he decided to run. And the fox stepped on his tail and did not let him go. Can you see how scared he looks? And he waited. And look at the gentle expression on that fox's face at that time and now he's so angry he's gonna growl at them like how dare you eat him and look at the owl especially the blue one he's so angry and the red one is just trying to imitate him like okay i will show my anger don't worry and the owls are so tiny the fox is so big now so what happened the owls decided okay there's no use fighting we cannot win against him so they flew away yes okay let's take another break over here so time for a third quiz so we'll be posting the link in the chat section and the comment section on youtube all of you all come closer to the screens and let's start the quiz i'm giving you two minutes and then we'll be back okay so let's quickly go and complete the quiz Okay, you are doing well. I can see the scoreboard. Good job, guys. All my kids have become really smart. They're very smart, I think. All of you are acing it. I'm so happy. Okay, so... Did you all like the story up to you? Give me a thumbs up if that's a yes. Okay. Do you think the fox saved the mouse to eat him? Okay. So the mouse was saved by the fox. Then the mouse saved the fox. And they have saved each other. So do you think they are going to eat each other? Or maybe the fox saved him to eat him. Especially saved him from the owls. I'm not really sure whether he's going to eat him. Or whether he's going to let him go because he saved his life. Now, that's something that we will have to find out. Yes? So, we'll have to continue watching the story. This is the last segment of the story. Yes? So, quickly complete it and we go and finish our movie. So, I'll just give you all a few more seconds and then we'll go right into the quiz and discuss the answers. Okay? Okay, so all of y'all who are done, just give me a thumbs up so that I know y'all are done. Okay, so most of y'all are done. Okay, a few of y'all are still left. So what we'll do is, uh, we'll give you all a few seconds and then we move ahead and solve the quiz together. 
Yes. Okay, shall we discuss the quiz? Yes? Okay, let's go and discuss the quiz together. Okay, let's start. Start the game, please. Okay, so your first question, did the fox save the mouse? Yes, he did save the mouse. Good job. Next question. How did the mouse try to save the fox? By trying to move the broken pieces of ice away from the fox to come out of the water or by giving a rope to climb? By moving the broken pieces, right? So it's option one. Very good. Okay, next question. Whom did the mouse encounter after coming out of the water? Was it the lion? Did we have any lion? No. Did we have any snake? No. So who was it? The two evil owls. Okay. The fox tried to stop the rat, dash its tail. Around its tail? No. In its tail? No. So it's by its tail. Everyone got it right? Yes? Good job, everybody. Very good. Okay, we got a power up. Yay! Okay, let's move on. Away the owls trying to attack the mouse by growling at them. By hiding behind a rock or by dancing with them? Obviously, by growling at them, right? Good job, everybody. Okay, so we are all done. And let's come back to the story. So, are you all excited to see what's going to happen in the last segment of the story? I'm very excited. Yes? So... Let's go back to the story and let's understand what's going to happen now. Is he going to eat the little mouse? Is he going to save the little mouse? What's going to happen? Okay, let's start. Okay, so we, I think we had a happy ending over here. So let's see what happened. Okay, so he growled at them and they flew away. Okay, the owls. And now he got a very soft expression and he let the mouse free. And the mouse was like, are you seriously letting me free? Okay, I'm happy. I'm going to run away. Bye-bye. And now the fox was alone again and he was... A little sad. Why? Can you see his expression on the face? He's so sad. Because he felt lonely again. He didn't have any company. He was hungry. But then because he saved the mouse and the mouse saved the fox, he felt that I saved you. Can't we just be friends? And then the mouse ran away because fox is ultimately a carnivorous animal, right? Okay, and then Mouse was like, one second, he saved my life. He helped me, he saved me from drowning, he saved me from the owls. So definitely he does not want to eat me or let me die. So let me just try. So he went back to the fox and the fox 
understood that okay he's also ready to become my friend now so he approached him and what happened they became friends and they started playing together yes see how happily they they are playing so in the end it's not about your nature it's about um what nature you already have maybe of defeating others or something it's more about helping others okay so you always have to help others because we are good beings right human beings and it's our duty to help others those especially those who are in need yes so the story had a very beautiful ending no one died no one ate each other but ultimately they made friends right so that's a good part about it so here we come to the end of the story and did you all like it yes give me a thumbs up okay very good so um did you all find the questions easy up till now yes okay so we have a last set of questions for you all so we'll be posting a link in the chat section and on the comment sec in the comment section on youtube so quickly come closer to your screens and let's start Yes, I'll give you all two minutes, and then we'll be done. Yes, okay. So let's quickly start. So, what do you think? Who was the better person? Who was the better animal in this? The fox, the mouse, the owl. Okay, let me put it another way. Who was the most evil animal? The owls, right? Because they just wanted to eat him. They never helped anybody. Whereas the fox earlier had the intention of eating the little mouse, but ultimately they became best friends and started playing with each other, right? And that's what matters. Endings are the best. Okay, we may start at a bad foot or a bad note, but you always have to end well. Okay. things may not be every time we may not get a happy ending but does not mean we are not, but that does that definitely does not mean that the end okay that is definitely not the end in that case okay so there is something else better for you in store for you okay so that's not the ending if it's not a happy ending it's not the ending okay okay so um i can see okay so all of you have started attempting the quiz that's very good and i can see some of you have also completed it that's amazing so give me a thumbs up all those who have completed your quiz so i know i can just get a count okay so quite a few of you have completed it very good so those who are still doing it take your time i'll give you a minute more and then we'll discuss the answers yes okay You are good. You have done very well. I just want to see who's going to top the scoreboard now. All the quizzes are over. This is the last one. Let's see who's going to top the scoreboard. All of you have done very well. You have aced your exam. Very good, guys. So a few seconds more, and then we discuss it. Yes. Shall we discuss it? Yes, everyone's done. Give me a thumbs up. Okay, let's go ahead and discuss the answers. Okay, let's start. Start the game, please. Okay the first question is what did the fox do after it let the mouse escape ran back to its home the fox waited for the mouse to come back to it the fox waited there right because he was extremely disappointed because he'd saved and he still did not want to become his friend so he was disappointed sad and he waited there yes good job next one did the mouse come back did he Yes he did when he realized that wait a second he saved my life twice so he does not want to eat me very good everyone 
Next one, at the end of the video, what did you observe? Both the fox and the mouse became friends. They hated each other. Both the fox and the mouse became enemies. What's the answer? They became friends. Answer one, right? Option one. Good job, everybody. Okay. Which of the following do you think fits as the model of the story? Cleanliness is next to godliness. Did we see any cleanliness? No. Giving is better than receiving because giving starts the receiving process. That's what happened, right? When the fox helped mouse, the mouse made sure that he helped fox. Yes? Or a watched pot never boils. No. So the answer is option two. Very good, everyone. Okay. We got a power up. That's good. Yay. Okay. Let's go ahead. Last question. The fox and the mouse dash together in the snow. Choose the correct verb tense. The fox and the mouse played together in the snow. Yes, everyone got it correct? Good job, everyone. I'm proud of you all. So we are all done over here. Yes. Okay, but before we end, I need to show you all something. So let's quickly go through it once. Okay. So, all we need to do is understand how we need to submit our entries. Like I said, top 10 entries are featured on our website. Which site? So, it is lie.ulo.com and we have our entire week's schedule uploaded there. So, once you go there, you can enroll for all the activities that we have to offer. So what is it? Live.ulo.com. So, yeah, that's like it. And it's extremely easy. All you need to do is go to live.ulo.com and you will be uh, able to view all the activities that we have and do submit it. Yes. Okay. Just let me show you once again. Or oh, I'll just show you the slides that we had seen before. So you'll get an idea. Okay. So once you go to live.ulo.com, uh, y'all will be able to see all the activities and select the activity that y'all have just performed. And you can see this submit your activity button down here. Okay. So once you submit the activity, uh, once you click on submit the activity, another dialog box will appear, which will read upload image. Now, when you click on that, you can select one or multiple images from your gallery. And once you've selected the images, um, a preview box will open where you can view the image that you've selected. If it's the correct one, go ahead and submit it. But if it's the wrong one, go one step behind, select the correct image and submit it. And also, if you're going to upload it on any of the social media sites like you, Instagram and Facebook, don't forget to tag us at the rate Yulo underscore app and use our hashtags. That is Yulo app, hashtag Yulo learning. Yes, just one last thing. And that's very important. That is, do not send us images in portrait or vertical form. Always send it in horizontal or landscape form clear you can take a picture and send it or you can send it by holding it in hand like a beautiful smile on it okay so where are you going to send it on live.ulo.com everyone's clear okay so did you all like today's story give me a thumbs up if that's a yes yes okay did you all will you all be like the fox and the mouse always helping others in need yes okay good job guys so that's it for today and I'll see you in the next class. Bye.